to fly around all day. I wish I had me a yellow bird to fly around all day. I first came off the plane that was brought over for us. We, it was just tropical paradise. Came in palm trees everywhere, a bunch of unfamiliar plants and animals surrounding me, and it was exhilarating. And when we got to the field station, it was just gorgeous. All alone with me. She will fly away into the skyway. She will come again. Oh, when the winter wind, she will fly away into the skyway. Oh, she's so lucky than me. I wish I had me a yellow bird to fly here around all day. I wish I had me a yellow bird to fly here around all day. All alone with me. Let your lady friend believe one nest again. She will fly away and toward the sky away. Let your lady friend believe one nest again. Oh God, she's so lucky. First stop was at Dave's Patch Reef, and we snorkeled around there. And then from there, I went to Pelican's Key. Pigeon. Pigeon's Key. Pigeon's Key. <laughs> it's all the same. Pigeon's Key. And then we had lunch there, and we walked around the island. And it was really neat to see all the different mm -hmm. um, textures of rocks and all that kind of stuff, and the big holes in the rocks. Yeah. And then from there, I went to Blue Hole Key, and we snorkeled around there, and that was probably my favorite spot because it's just really cool to see the ocean floor and then it goes down into a big blue hole and then it's just really neat to see all the fish inside there. We got to see the um, porcupine fish and uh, a lionfish and a sea urchin. Um, I saw a couple of sea fans. They were really neat. They just look like it's really big fans just in the sea. <laughs> I really like the Blue Hole Key because you could look down into the hole and see all the different fish down there. I liked Dave's Patch Reef that we went to first today. I like the puffer fish and then like the stingray. I think my favorite was the Sergeant Majors just because they're everywhere and I get to see them and I like their names. So that was cool. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing that I saw was big porcupine fish that I followed around for a long time. Probably a bit too long. Spent a lot of time with that porcupine fish. It was pretty cute. <laughs> Pump 
Today was a really good day. It was actually our final boat day. And I'm kind of sad because I know I'm not going to probably get to snorkel for a while. But I had a good time. It's really cool to get to see all the fish. Some of my favorites are the parrot fish and the trigger fish. And I've also improved that duck diving. It's pretty cool to dive under the water. It makes you feel like you're a part of the schools of fish and you're swimming along with them. And I just barely dodged a couple of fire coral today. I'm glad I didn't run into that or else my arm would have been looking a lot worse. But overall, I think it's been a really good experience with snorkeling between the first day we started until now. I think I've improved a lot and it was definitely an experience that I'm never gonna forget. So um, at all of our snorkel sites, we were told to watch out for lionfish, which are an invasive fish to the Bahamas. Um, they're really pretty, actually, but the, they have venomous spines and they mess with the coral ecosystems and they prey on tons of fish and they have like hardly any predators. So it, they're kind of detrimental to the ecosystems here in the Bahamas. But um, so every time we went out snorkeling, we went and looked for them and they were usually found under like ledges and rocks and corals and stuff. And then once everyone got back in the boat, the interns would go back out and spear them for us. And we got three of them. So today we um, dissected them and we were looking, we took all the spines off, so those weren't any harm. And then we were looking for certain char or organs and characteristics that they had. So we saw um, the gills and the, well, okay, my fish was a little small, so we tried to see some things. We saw a heart and a stomach and... The air bladder. The, is that what it's called? I think it was the air bladder. Yeah. What? Swim. Yeah. And um, I think that's really all I, oh, the eyes. We took the eyes apart and got, got the little nails. Yeah. It's like a little marble. And it's really hard, which is strange. But um, you could probably say, what did you guys find in the stomach of yours? Not much. Looked like it might have been algae, maybe a octopus, a little tiny one. I mean, they can eat just about anything, so. Yeah, but it was a really neat experience to be able to, not only see those fish and what they were doing out there, but see their characteristics here and be able to take them apart. So yesterday we went to the tongue of the ocean. It was really neat to see how just how deep it was. You could not see the bottom at all. Um, you, you dropped conch shells down and you, you just watch them go down and then you just never see them again after that just because the tongue of the ocean is so deep. So it was very neat to see the difference between the plot, spot, other parts that we were snorkeling to this one because you could actually see the bottom compared to not seeing anything but blue. Mm -hmm. So that was really neat. We saw a couple of barracudas, which was a little bit scary at the tongue of the ocean, swimming right under your feet. <laughs> Yes, the mob brings up beautiful babies. Then you set 
Bazooka is strong young men them Yes, them come faking like me yeah. Tell you say, Luca, the penguin stuff But them swimming every day See, tell you say, Chapless deep line cannot see Me tell you say, Chapless the promise You know, show to them feet up Chapless the promise You know, please to see Chapless the promise So the past two days we started our data collection. Yesterday we went to Uncle Charlie's Blue Hole and um, the way that the Blue Holes are set up is the top layer is fresh water and then below that is a hydrogen sulfide layer and then below that is sea water and then under that is anoxic water. So depending on how big the blue hole is itself, you can measure different levels and get different readings for, like ours was pH, but there it did um, dissolved oxygen as well. So in that blue hole, we were only able to get to 12 meters, which we were only able to get fresh water from that, so it didn't tell us a whole lot. But today we went to Captain Bill's and um, we were actually able to get through the fresh water to the hydrogen sulfide which you can tell right away because it smells like rotten eggs. So um, the way that we did that was we had several ropes tied together and we had different markings for different meters. And then we had a Van Dorn bottle that we swam out to the middle of the blue holes because there's like caves and um, ledges that we didn't want to hit. So we would swim, swim the bottle out and then you would hook it up and so like there's two balls in the end and you hook it together and you drop it all the way down until you get to the marking that you want on the rope. So we did it at 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, and 50 feet. Um, oh, and 80. 65. 65? 65, 80, 100. Yeah. And um, so you drop it down to whatever depth and then you have to like yank it and then it like shuts the thing and captures the water at that level but the hard part is you don't know if it's closed so we had some issues where we would pull it back up and there wouldn't be any water because it didn't shut so there were some issues but we did get down to the hydrogen sulfide layer which is really exciting so our project was measuring the salinity of the levels of the blue holes here in Andros and we used a Van Dorn bottle to collect water samples from different levels of the blue holes and measure the salinity of them. So we measure the salinity like by like the percentage of it 
and we're using a refractometer to like use as the tool to use it and we look up in the sun and it'll like show us what percentage of like the solar energy it is. So today I worked on some of my research project, which is based on coral identification and their diversities in different reefs. We went to Three Sisters, which is a patch reef where I saw a bunch of soft corals in comparison to Turtle Reef, which is part of the Barrier Reef. There were more hard corals there to help break up the wave patterns. So I took the dive slate off the boat and I kind of surveyed the area around and then I just snorkeled down into the water to basically take like a rough tally, like a quick glance around the big mounds of coral and then I would swim up closer to them to get the exact count of which type of coral along with what color they were. Today we ended up visiting Three Sisters Patch Reef as well as Turtle Barrier Reef and in both of those places I noticed there was a major prominence. I saw a lot more Sergeant Major and French grown than I did any of the other fish. And I didn't have a set in stone strategy while looking around at the fish. My main goal was just to make sure I wasn't staying in the same area and that I was trying to find a bunch of different kinds of fish instead of focusing on the same fish in each of those areas. I did see a few interesting fish. At the patch reef we found French angelfish, young queen angelfish, and a few stoplight parrotfish. So lots of parrotfish there, um, which makes sense. It's a reasonably large reef. The barrier reef, there was actually a barracuda, four feet if it was an inch. Cup set a queen triggerfish, although it could possibly have been the same triggerfish we passed over twice. Uh, another juvenile, another stoplight parrotfish, a juvenile that time, and we also saw at least one rainbow parrotfish. There's another fish close to it that also looked like a rainbow, but I wasn't. I wasn't quite sure because it was about a quarter of the size for one. So I didn't mark it down because I couldn't find it in my, uh, my recognition finder. What were some of the tools that you used? So what are you holding? Uh, Fishcards.com's Reef Combers Guide. We ended up using dive slates that have pencils attached to them, and then we also or have fish identification attack. charts, which we used in regards to the fish. Whichever fish we saw, we tried to use the chart to identify which one we were viewing, and then we wrote all of our results on our boards. Alright, we did our project on the uh, soil conductivity and differences in soil on uh, Andros Island in different areas. Um, we took from two different locations, it was... Um, yeah, we took it from uh, Morgan's Bluff and also Evan's Blue Hole, which also had a nice cave in front of it. And... With the two different soils, we used a soil texture analysis chart, which is like a big triangle, and we compared the percent. We, we basically took the soil, put in some water, shook uh, shook it all up, let it settle over two days, documented how it settled over two days, and then measured the different heights of the different layers that settled out, and we compared the percentages of the sand, silt, and clay as they settled to determine on the triangle which type of soil that we had. And then, the yeah, basically for the conductivity, we had a little bit of soil left in each jar. So, took the rest of that out, put it in a smaller jar, put a little bit of water in that, and then we had this special probe that would connect to an app on our phone that basically tells the conductivity of the soil types. And that, that's basically our project.
I think this course has been really impactful for me because I'd never been out of the country before and I'd never gone snorkeling before or been to uh, the ocean before really. I mean I'd been to the ocean but not like, well, not like that, not in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> and I think that it was really interesting getting to learn all kinds of things that I genuinely didn't really care about before. Like now I, I'm genuinely interested in marine biology. <laughs> And I never was before now. I honestly had a great time on this trip. It changed my perspective on many things. It's <clears throat> given me more of a respect for random knowledge. I, my major is information technology and I've never really thought something like the ocean would interest me that much, but just snorkeling and doing a lot of other things we've done on this trip has given me more respect for going out and making an effort to learn more in my education. Honestly, this trip was a great experience for me, and if I could do it again, I would in a heartbeat. So today is our day that we are leaving the Bahamas, and I'm a little bit sad about leaving. I'm excited to go back home, but I had a lot of fun at the Bahamas. I was a little bit um, nervous at first because I've never been out of the country before especially without my parents or any of my family and a class of kids that I hardly even knew, but I'm really, really glad that I came. We're all like best friends now and we're talking about hanging out even after this and we're going to miss each other. Um, this trip took me on things that I probably never would do if I didn't have had come, like we snorkeled in the um, ocean, which I probably would never do again. Um, it's just such, such a great opportunity to have done that. And blue holes, I had no clue what a blue hole was before I even came here and I actually jumped in three of them, so that was really exciting. <laughs> Um, this trip just kind of brought me out of my shell a little bit. Um, I am a pretty outgoing person and I have a great personality and I'm easy to talk to and stuff, but this trip took me on things that I probably wouldn't have done if I was just, say, with my family or just my own friends. So I'm really, really glad and honored that I had this opportunity to come on this trip. And it was a great experience and I would do it all over again if, if I could, but uh, it's just really, really great and I'm glad to have the opportunity to have done it and I would do it all over again if I could. I had a lot of fun on this trip. My, I did learn a lot, and I think my favorite parts were diving the barrier reef on the second boat day, because I, man, I spotted a very large barracuda, and I, Captain Bill's Blue Hole on the last day, because that was a lot of fun to uh, jump off the large the diving platform. So we, I really enjoyed the trip. Um, it was, I really enjoyed that we got to uh, get really close. Sometimes, like at the end of the day, we would go and sit around the campfire and we would just talk for like hours and like we would lose track of time. We all like got to know each other a lot more than like we had class for like a whole semester together before this but I feel like we all connected more on this one week trip than we did the whole entire semester. Um, some of the things that like we did that like impacted me was going to, in the ocean and flying on a plane because like I've never done those things before and it was my first time on both things and it kind of like scared me to go on this trip before but like I'm glad I did that. Um, it like makes me want to do more things in life that I've never experienced before just because I've had like a great time doing this and I don't know, I'm like really glad that I got to, like got to know these people more and hope that we stay like connected. This trip has impacted me to the Bahamas, the trip to the Bahamas has impacted me. This trip has impacted my life in a big way because I've never been outside the country before and seeing the, the different culture of uh, Andros Island has really changed how I see the world. I've never been snorkeling or 
hiking through the forest in a different country before, so it's just cool to see all the different kinds of species and all the cool different animals out there. I had a lot of fun on this trip, a uh, really great time, met a lot of great friends and people that I'll hopefully know for a long time, if not for the rest of my life. Um, one great thing I did was learn the importance of coral reefs and seagrass and the effects it has on just pretty much on the world itself. Um, the most fun I had was definitely at Captain Bill's Blue Hole. It was just a giant blue hole and I just had a 20 foot drop. And just the amount of fun that we had there. It was a great way to end it on the last day. So when we went to Red Babes, I really liked seeing how Otis and Moten both lived a very simple life and they were very proud of their life they lived. They made me realize, and it was a different change of perspective, that you don't need to have a lot and still be happy with yourself. They were really proud of the work that they did and the songs that they made and sang for us. And to me it was really nice and interesting to see that in different cultures. I also really enjoyed how like once in a lifetime this opportunity has been. How many times are you going to be able to say that you were snorkeling at the tongue of the ocean or you're able to see a, a school of groupers swim by you or around you and be able to experience something as amazing and exotic as this. Um, so trip's over now. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Probably the best part for me was definitely just like going to another country because I enjoy traveling a lot. And this trip especially meant a lot for me because like, I've always heard about it from my dad who was in the Navy and specifically came down to the Caribbean and the Bahamas a lot and he'd always tell me about it. So that was a really made it a lot more interesting for me to come down here and to be able to like go out on the reefs and all that was really awesome too. Um, overall, I love the place where we stayed, Four Far Station. That was a really nice place. It's built incredibly well. Very comfortable, actually, surprisingly, given all the sand. Um, and the, the interns there, which change over time, of course, but like they were all extremely nice and helpful. And overall, this was just an incredible trip. Overall, this has been a great experience, and I've had a lot of firsts. Um, I've never been snorkeling before. Um, I got to see a lot of cool new fish and learn about them and the corals. Um, I also got to swim in blue holes, which is what my project was about. Um, I got to collect data and learn about the formation of blue holes, which is really cool. And it's kind of like something that's unique, mostly to the Bahamas. So I may never get to experience something like that again. So that's also very cool. And I would just like to let next year's people know that even if you're scared about coming or you think you might not like it or you're afraid that you don't know the people that you're coming with, it's definitely a good idea to come because I made so many friends and had so many fun experiences. It was definitely worth it, even if I was afraid to come at first. Um, I would say talk to the people in your class before you come because for the first few days we were all a little bit nervous, didn't want to hang out or talk that much, but then at the end of the week we're all like super close best friends. So just try to get to know each other and it was a great experience overall. I feel like this course was very good for me to take because due to my major, just experiencing something outside of Ohio really helped. As a wildlife conservationist, I got to see all sorts of corals, fight my hydrophobia a little bit, and really set myself out there, explore the world as it is a little bit. So um, I was not very sure about going on this trip at first, just because I don't didn't know very many of these people, and I've never been anywhere outside of the country without my family. So it was pretty nerve-wracking, especially because I knew I wouldn't have my phone for a week. Um, but I'm very glad that I did it. It turned out a lot better than I thought. I'm terrified of the ocean, and I found out that I love snorkeling. Um, I would really like to keep doing that and going different places and seeing different things. I thought it was really cool to actually see what we were learning rather than just learning about it in like a book or from a lecture. 
So it was really cool to get the hands-on experience and learn from the locals and see how they lived and just see like what they had to teach us and what they have been doing and what kind of research they were doing. Um, so overall, I think it was a really good experience for me and I'm glad that I pushed myself to do it and I made some really good friends.